Well, hello again. Today we're going to continue the thoughts about some keys to having a powerful prayer life. Day one we talked about having a closeness with God and having a right heart before God. And yesterday we spoke about praying in faith and believing that God's going to come through in all things when it lines up with his will. Well, today I want to talk about using the word of God in your prayer life. And I think this is really, really important. I, Anna's mum is a very spiritual woman and she loves the Lord, and she loves his word. And I've seen her pray, and as she's praying, she's claiming God's promises from the scripture. She's using scripture in her prayer life. And it makes that prayer life so much more powerful because the enemy can't come against the truth of God, can't come against the truth of God's word. We see Glyn do the same thing. Whenever Glyn preaches, he's always standing on the word of God. He's always using the word of God to come through and block the enemy. And it makes his prayer life so much more powerful. And lots and lots of people do this. And Jesus did the same, didn't he? When he was being tempted in the garden uh, by the devil in Luke 4, 1 to 12, and we know the story, you know, he was standing, uh, he'd been 40 days in the wilderness fasting, and he was on the on the hill there, and, and the devil came to him and said, if you're the son of God, turn these rocks into stones, uh, turn these rocks into bread, and you'll be fed. And what did Jesus say? He said, it is written, Man shall not leave, live by bread alone. And the devil went away. And he came back a second time. And it showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And in a moment's time, and he said to him, I will give you all authority and their glory, for it has been delivered to me, and give it to whom I will. If you will then worship me, it will all be yours. And Jesus asked him, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and on him only shall you serve. And again, it says the devil came and took him to Jerusalem and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down and you will get your angels uh, to guard you. And on their hands, they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered him and said, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. And when the devil had tried this, he went away. Jesus overcome the plans of the enemy with the word of God. It is written, it is written, and there was nothing the devil could do about it because the devil, who is the father of lies, cannot come against the truth of God. So when you pray, use the word of God. How do you use the word of God? Spend some time in it. I know Jody spoke about spending time in the word of God is the only way you're going to get it. If you want to see the character of God and you want to see the will of God for your life and for the other people around you, you need to know the word of God and you can use that word powerfully against the enemy when he comes with all these lies and chatters in your ears. So my challenge to you is get into the word, delve into as much as you can and then use that in your prayer life and see the success that will come in your prayer life and the overcoming and the breakthrough that you'll get standing on the word of God. I'll talk to you tomorrow.